Okay guys, hi, uh, it's Leo again. Uh, I'm bringing you a quick tutorial, uh, just to not uh, be a great hiatus uh, in the part one of my hair card video. I'm working on this dwarf, uh, inspired by Lord of the Rings, you can see. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to paint the skin to get a result like this. Let me turn off his his helmet. How you can get a result like this. How I, I get to this result. So let's go to it. Uh, first of all, I will select. Let's make a, a copy so I don't lose this one. That I'm already painted. Uh, I will hide it and I will solo it. Okay. Then let's give it. A white color let's turn up metalness and put the roughness at almost 50 percent okay and paint all then we have a, a clean canvas here to work so let's begin with the first step first we, we are going to create the the more more underneath levels of the skin which are composed mostly of blood and muscles um, the tones uh, gets towards reds and, and purple so the first the base will be a red tone that will that will give us the the feeling of the blood and muscle that are beneath the skin so i'll select this and i will paint so before that you can go into the material tab probably yours will be on opaque you change to subsurface that is the the, the skin has this characteristic that lights uh, gets inside the, the the skin and gets refracted let's say underneath the skin and go out and we'll have some some light on the shadows that are coming from the light that goes within the skin uh, inside the skin uh, and goes out so now we have our underneath layer that is uh, let's say a blood blood and, and muscle layer let's give some purple tint it will help with the effect so i would like to to use this paintbrush and you can select a stamp that is just to give some noise i i'm using this one that i stolen from the the other scoping software that i will not name here uh, you select this you go to the stroke options and you turn on randomize so you can get a variation of each iteration each stroke of this brush so now i will select a more purple tint more dark purple I will lower the intensity and I will paint randomly at the skin. It's too low, let's increase a little bit. I don't know what's going on, why it's not painting. Let me see. Uh, well, I don't know. Let's put on the maximum. Okay, now, now we can see the effect. Just paint randomly at some parts just to break the this strong red that we give it to it uh, okay now let's give the second layer of the to, to, to exemplify I will create a layer uh, so we can see the before and after so here now select let's select a color that will be the skin tone of our character so we'll get to uh, I will choose a blend skin tone like this one and again with randomize on I will you can copy my my settings here it's just to give a little bit of randomness on the on the stroke it's not a big deal so the important thing here is to lower the intensity and add bit by bit the skin tone of our character so we start to paint it's too low let me increase it and let's start to paint you see that the opacity the intensity is low and 
even when we paint with the skin tone, the red and the purple will still come through and you can see a little bit of red beneath the skin tone. So don't overdo this. If you paint too much, you, you uh, hide all the, the red. That's not our intention. And don't do too little. So you get this Fred Krueger like face here. So you, you do as you see. You do until you see that is going in the direction that you like. So let's give a little more. Okay, three finger we can turn the light so we can see better. Okay, let's paint, let's paint his scalp, his ears. See, he doesn't look like he's ill, he has some kind of disease. Okay, I think now is a, a good result. Now for the last last step, I don't know who came up with this technique. I think it maybe could be developed in the Renaissance with the classical painters. But the the face have three major, uh, let's say, color zones. You have uh, in the area of the jaw, a uh, more bluish, grayish th tint. In the area of the nose and the cheekbones and the ears, we have more a reddish tint in the in the forehead we have more yellow tint so let's do this here i will create another layer okay let's start with the bluish grayish tint okay i select the color again low intensity and i will paint in this area i'm almost not seeing so let's increase it a little bit 50 percent is good Let's give it a little bit of the grayish, grayish tint into the jaw and mouth area, okay? Almost look like a five o'clock shadow, okay? Now let's select a reddish tint, something like this, like a more pinkish red, okay? Now let's paint on the nose. On this area, the the ears are, I painted with the neutral skin tone too too little, so it's already already red, and because it's a a thin mesh, the subsurface scattering is is making the light come through, as you can see here. So uh, as I as I see, you can you don't need to to paint red too much. Okay, let's do a little more and let's go with a yellow tone and paint the forehead just a little bit, bit of yellow so that's it okay i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i see you next time